Welcome back, Primary Four. It is great to see you each week whenever you can make it. And I'm really pleased that you're all getting on with such exciting projects all by yourself at home. We're ready, we're respectful, and we're kind to ourselves and to others. Being ready means that you might need something like a pencil or a whiteboard, maybe some water. Um, and if you want to block the noise out, you can wear some headphones as well. Sometimes I wear them even if I'm not listening to something because it helps block things out. So whatever you need, just to focus. Today, I'm going to go through spelling strategies because I know that you're already really good at this. So I'll just do a couple of examples. A couple means two. And then you can get on with that. And then we're going to do fix a sentence. Again, I'll show you an example and you can have a go at doing the other ones independently or by yourself. Are you ready? On y va. Let's go. So how can we remember how to spell a word? I bet you've got lots of ideas. And some of you might be looking here already to memory strategies and the ones that we've done before in previous videos. So here we've got listen really carefully at the beginning to when you hear the word. Look, really looking carefully at the word, saying the word over and over so it makes a strong pathway in your brain. And chunking is what we did last week. So taking a word and making it into smaller blocks taking something complicated and making it into smaller pieces. One more that I like to do is actions. So this week I'll do some more actions and that is another way of helping it going into our brain. So our prefix this week is not be, it's not pre, it is re, R-E. So my first word to remember is remember. And I always get this one a bit wrong. So what words can you see within that word already? How can we chunk it? That's right. We've got re at the beginning, our prefix. And can how many syllables are in that word? Yep. Remember. So I'm going to split it into three. Remember. Okay. Remember. Listen and repeat. R E M E M. B E R. Good, I'm gonna put those three chunks together. R-E-M-E-M. R-E-M-E-M-B-E-R. Fantastic. Now I'm gonna just put some actions with it to help me get it even stronger in my brain. Let me think, I'm gonna do Saturday Night Fever again. And M-E-M -E sounds a bit like a mountain actually. Let's see. R-E-M-E-M-B-E-R. R-E-M-E-M-B-E-R. Your turn. Good job, excellent. So then we use our method look, say, cover, write, check. We've already done looking and saying. This time, when you cover it up, I want you to say the letters of the word at the same time as you write it. Are you ready? 
Look at the word. Three, two, one. Can you write it down for me, please? Remember. Three, two, one, and so me. So hopefully you've got it right. And if you haven't got it right, and you've forgotten one little letter, just circle the bit that is wrong, just there, isn't it? I need to add E-M. And then you're going to cover it and do it again. So I want you to do all the words three times. I'm going through that. Look, say, cover, write it and say it. I'm going to write that there. Write it and say it. And then check it. Good? Okay? Terrible? Let me know. So please go through all the words with a prefix. R-E. Re. Then I'd like you to do common words. Now, you'll all be at different stages. And if you were at school, you'd have one of these kind of books with all the words on it already. And at home, you might have one from the internet and you might be looking all the time for the next words that you find difficult. So I looked at these, this is Fry's 600, and I found a word I find tricky, which is instruments. And I think you might be doing that in music. So here it is, instruments. How many syllables has it got? Instruments, yep, three. And if we look, can you see any words within the word? So we've got the word in, a bit like a prefix in that one. So we've got the prefix in, strumments. Hmm, I like that word strum because um, I've got a guitar over there and I can strum my guitar and it's an instrument. So we've got in, strum, um, ents. Hmm. Now, how could we remember that ents bit, the last bit? You might remember ments, like mints, but with an E. Or you could, if you ever been to the doctors, remember ENT, which is the ear, nose and throat surgery. <laughs> so let's have a think. So we have looked at it and we need to say it now. OK. I N. S. T R U M The last syllable Instrum Ents E N T S Now I know your word might be different, but it's the same strategies we can use. So let's put those together, our three chunks. I N S T R U M. Good job. Now I'm going to add the last bit E N T S. Okay. Look at it again. Okay. I N S T R U M. E N T S. Fantastic. Okay. Now I'm going to put some actions on that. So I N, I'm going to do my prefix like that. I N S, I'm going to strum the guitar now. S T R U M. E N T S. I'm doing ear, nose, throat, S. Okay, are you ready? Just watch me this time. Okay. I N S T R U M E N T S. One more time and it's your turn. It's a long one. I N S. T R U M E N T S. Over to you. Excellent. 
excellent. Brilliant. Okay. So we've looked at it and said it. And I'm going to look at it again one more time. We're going to cover it up. Write it down. Remember? Good job. And then you look back and check it. And if it's not quite right, that's good because we're learning. So just tweak the bit that you need to and fix it and then do it. How many more times? Two more times. So you do it three times in total. Brilliant. So that was our spelling strategies. Remember, we listened. We looked for the bits that are familiar. We said it over and over using the alphabet letter names and we put some actions on it. And these are all great ways to remember things. Well done us. Okay, moving on, we're going to play fix the sentence. So I've given you some sentences that aren't quite right instead of our dictations this week. And you are brilliant at looking at the sentence and finding little mistakes. So the first sentence is this one. Now this sentence has in it five mistakes. Can you see them? I bet you did that so quickly because you're so clever. And you've done this before. So here we go. Where are the mistakes? Correct. You, well, it is a well as way of spelling oo. Oo 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 is blue oo oo. But that word is a tricky word or a red word, and you've been spelling it for a long time, and you know it's spelled like that. Well done. One. You will need a pencil. That's right. This one should be a soft C. So sometimes the S sound is made with a with a C letter, but it makes a s sound. Good job. You will need a pencil, comma, because it's a list, paintbrush, jotter, a, pa a paintbrush, jotter, paper. Where does the commas go? After each word, that's right. So pencil, paintbrush, jotter, paper, mm, two different words. Jotter, paper. Now, do I put a comma there before and? That's right. If you've watched the video, you know that we don't put a comma before and. That's okay. And we've got one, two, three, four. Where is the fifth mistake? Excellent. That's right. A sharpener. We have a sharpener. Sharp. Okay. And that one goes there. Those were your five mistakes. So if you have the printout, hopefully you can do that on the paper or you can just look at it and write down the mistakes in your book. Well done, primary four. So I've given you two examples for our spelling. One with the prefix R-E, re, and one for our common words. The same strategies for the words. And then we've done an example of fixing the sentence. So I think you're ready to go off and try the other ones yourselves. The extra activity this week is doing some writing, finishing the sentences, and also finishing our word challenge to find as many words as you can, using the sounds and things, in the word cooperation. I wish you the very best of luck, and I look forward to seeing you next week. Have fun, primary four. Goodbye.